Catalina with USC. We're here today with Project Payload. Um, so we have a couple of teams working today preparing for their weather balloon launch. So why do we think this wave is going kind of up and down like that, the temperature? What's happening? We're going to see what it looks like in terms of how much feeling we need in order to go, what our set rate is. So we're gonna actually going to calculate this now, but we got to do a weigh-in. If you give yourself the chance to take the harder classes, to take classes that you may not even be that great at or may not like as much, at least you're giving yourself the opportunity to do anything in the future. You're not limiting yourself. So the more you think on that kind of terms, the better off you'll be. Trust me when I say mine. And my mom calls me and she's like, Janelle, you need to get home right now. I was like, what happened? What? She's like, you have a package to move out MIT. I was like, mom, I already told you this. I didn't get in so you can relax. He's like, well, get home now. We <laughs> got the door. She's like, here, you hand the whole package thing. I'm like, mom, what are you getting excited about? You're just telling me no. She's like, Janelle, dude, you not send you a package to tell you no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my name is Summer. I'm the record keeper, so I have to make observations of what these groups are doing. Right now, there's the payload team and then there's the balloon team. So the payload team is right now putting an egg, figuring out how they can find the egg so it won't crack while we launch up into space. And then this team right here on the right of me. Um, they're figuring out ideas how to tie the balloons and tie the knots for the balloon and so how it can expand the balloon. Hi, I'm Grosjean. I'm one of the instructors in the program uh, designers for Project Payload. I'm a student at USC and we work with the K-12 STEM outreach programs at USC Missouri School of Engineering. This is Project Payload and we have over 20 middle school students. Uh, they're all girls joining us here with Project Payload to uh, have a program that helps them go into the STEM fields and learn about a lot of things related to STEM. Um, in our project, it's been going on since August. We've had a two-week summer camp where they learned about programming, Arduinos, Cube satellites, how to launch, how it works, leadership programs, how to better communicate with one another. And throughout these past months, we've been having sessions every other Saturday to learn about um, Cube satellites, CANSATs. Right now we're working with Magnitude so that we can launch a high-altitude balloon um, into the upper atmosphere with a um, helium-filled balloon. And yeah, it's really exciting. Wait, are we letting it go on one? No, no. I'm trying to hold it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's gonna do a loop through those. You reckon? Yeah. 1800 meters. So the sheriff will yeah. pick up our balloon from those balloons. The coast, that was the coastal service right there. Yeah. I know, right? What a great story. Right? That is awesome. So this is, you know, um, there are some that pretty much keep under the radar, don't report anything, don't tell anyone what you're doing. The other one is, for me, let everyone know what you're doing because you're doing something pretty significant yeah. and they want to help you. We're here at Dana Point where the Orange County Sheriff Harbor Patrol, uh, the boat that uh, has recovered the high altitude balloon that went to 100,000 feet at 0.5. You guys are heroes, man! <laughs> here we go. This is uh, Ted and Tony. <laughs> Uh, very happy. Oh my goodness, we have some young girls that are super excited at USC. Uh, they were working on their payload that got it up. We were thinking it was going to land uh, right there on the on the coast. We didn't think it was going to go in the water. County Sheriff, big hand here, making a, a dream come true. What the hell soggy it is. <laughs>